So okay, I got it. Looks like I could optimize this power relay. Oh no, I'm building. I'm building Dark Ox. Fucking oh shit. I'm building it. Oh no. Okay, so I need target voltage of one. So. Well, that's fairly simple. Shit. Um. Hmm. Hmm. So I do that, and then I do that. There we go. Do that, and then... There we go. Hooray! Nice. Okay, what next? God, I'm gonna have to do a bunch of these, aren't I? Looks like some impedance in this neurosensor circuit. <sighs> Alright. So... So I gotta get it down here. And I gotta get to four voltage. Shit, okay. Um So I gotta lose two. I gotta lose two voltage. Like that. And then like that, and then like that. Yeah! I did it! There's there's more of this though, right? I mean, it wants 3.6. The noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag. Okay, so we need five voltage. So if I put two there, shit, like that, and then if I do. This, this, that, uh, oh wait, shit, I'm a big idiot, hang on, minus two, and then, minus three, there we go, yeah, I done did it, big smart, so, 2.8 millisecond delay. Huh. Is there no way you could have got that little bit better, Peter? 2.8 milliseconds. Peter, I feel Peter. like maybe you could do- yeah. I feel maybe you could have done a bit better on that one, Peter. Come on. 2.8, that's a long time. You stupid idiot. Just, just get, I'm just gonna get ready over here, cause this would go real tits up real fast. That's some fine ass fucking motor control, holy shit. And there's the octopus arms. I mean, you know what, I wouldn't mind a pair of those, hook me up fam. You could do something like that, but with a spine, I mean, I'd appreciate that, too. And he's fucking juggling, because of course he is. Not gonna lie, like, if this was in real life, that'd be super fucking impressive. Alright, it's time for the Cyborg Rebellion. Let's overthrow humanity. Call that a mild success. It's Fucking unbelievable. Yeah, same Pete. Jesus. He can't get it off, can he? It's stuck. 
Yes. Oh no, he's just having a Parkinson's. All right. He he's just having a Parkinson's. All right, fair enough. Oh boy, you doing all right, Doc? I mean, Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my oh. reckless youth. <laughs> Sorry, is, is so this once again, Osborne's fault then. The worst part is it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but it can no longer do. So basically Doc Ock has it. ALS. That's I'd like to keep it that way. <laughs> of course. That's a you know what? That's a really like strong. You. Like to see that's, the position with That's her. real fucking strong, like as far as like supervillain beginnings are. To work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. Like so neither like Doc Ock having ALS and his body failing and using the tentacles to find to you know make to figure out his life and also Norman Osborn fucking him over. That's not gonna lie, that's a pretty strong fucking origin for Doc Ogg. Fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. Not gonna lie, like Fucking, if, if shit like what Doc Ock, what he's doing right now exists in real life, like, dude, I'd be signing up immediately, man. I'd be signing up Direct fucking immediately. The basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. <laughs> Damn the risks! Oh, I'll kill a thousand cripples before I let this company die. Jesus fucking Doc's Christ! Really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. Fuck! If we're not careful, an intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. Turn him into some sort of octopus doctor. I'll work on it. You know, that needs a little bit of workshopping, that one. <laughs> Professor Cephalopod. Oh shit, Aunt May. Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telemetry data. Thanks. I'll be back in a few hours. Oh, but I'm gonna come back and he's gonna have like a full set of octopus arms, isn't he? Jeez. <laughs> It's gonna go. It's gonna go well. It's gonna go well. That one. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, man. Fucking hook me up. Hook me up with some robot arms and a fucking a, a spine that doesn't cause constant pain. All right. Uh, so I gotta go to the feast center, right? Where is that? Oh, fast travel is turned off. Okay, I guess something's gonna... Oh no, just just turned on. Alright. Let's just probably wait for the... Th hey, New suit. Hey, and melee damage. Cool. Hi, man. Let me guess. You're running late? Nope, I'm actually on my way now. Have you heard from Miles? No, but his mother said he was coming, so... Good. I'll be there soon. Bye. What's the betting Aunt May knows that Peter is Spider-Man? Cause like, every time she's... I don't know. I feel like every time she's kind of poked at him being late, it's kind of had like this, like, knowing tone to it. Like, late again, Pete? Like, I don't know. Like, she knows the reason he's late, but she's, you know, being polite. Yeah, I love Aunt May. Aunt May's great. What are you doing here? I can't believe Miles is fucking dead. Jeez, that could have been in his head right there. You don't fuck with a kid who just lost his dad. That's how urban violence starts. Mistake, punk. What the? Does it seriously? That's some broken ribs. Hang on. 
Ah, hold on, fellas. I just, I, you know, I just got word from my tailor. Oh, spider armor, Mark IV. Not gonna lie, I've never been a fan of the spider armor. Like, this is probably, like, the best-looking spider armor. But, I mean... Iron spider will always be better. <sighs> Do I want to use this one? I mean... It's a little bright, at least on... You know, I'll, I'll wear it. I'll put it on. I'm not gonna use the power, though. No. No. You hurt? But that... That right there, that was like the perfect thing, just how fucking mean Spidey can be. You're Spider-Man. You're the amazing Spider-Man. You're the spectacular Spider-Man. And a few other choice adjectives Jameson uses. Look, that was really brave. But next time, leave the fighting to the pros. Okay? I don't okay, even remember what the story behind the Mark IV is. Well, you can't just go swinging at someone twice your size. I mean, don't get me wrong. Here, let I this spider like bite you. Time. See if it changes like anything. Oh, like that time you fought Rhino on the Brooklyn Bridge? That was so awesome. <laughs> oh my god, he's such a fucking bigger? nerd. You gotta be quicker. Okay? Okay, but that's it's easy for you to say. I, sorry, I just can't do what you do. Do you want me to bite you, kid? I will. Alright, put him up. Seriously? Yeah, come on. Fight me, kid! I'm gonna beat up this child. First thing. Don't let the adrenaline get to you. Breathe slow. Breathe deep. Relax. Pay no attention to the fact my suit is made out of metal. Let them make the first move. Now use your feet. And when they go off balance, look for an opening. Boom. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Not only this time, just let me have it. Right on the jaw. Okay? I can <laughs> Oh, sh... <laughs> Sorry. No, no. No. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> you keep that up and, uh... You'll be fine. All right. Lesson's over. Gotta go. Hey, uh... Thanks. You know, anytime. You know what? I changed my mind. That is actually probably the best... You, that is actually the best personality oh, they've... Yeah. That is probably the best personality they could have given... Mo Please don't make me play as him, for fuck's sake! God damn it! Shelter should be just ahead. Oh, god damn it. Yo, Miles, what's up? Bro, you're not gonna believe this. I just met Spider Man. What? That's crazy. Hey, did you show him our hacking app? Oh, man. I totally forgot. Oh, you suck. He totally would have bought it off you, and then we'd be like famous. Yeah, I'll show you. With him next what time. money? I With what go money would he do? Holy late. shit. Right, cool. Later. Like, I'm still not a big fan of Miles, just in general. Cut through there. But, like, him being a giant Spider-Man mark and just kind of, like, being this pure is actually kind of neat. Huh. Hacking it. I wonder if it still works. But, I mean, at the same time, I feel like he, Miles needs a little bit more personality than, you know? But, I mean, he's not a... I mean, Miles isn't, you know, like, Kidding running around as Spider-Man yet, so I mean... Forever. That drone wasn't watching. He could jump the fence. He just needs to isolate the drone safe. Wow, that was too easy. I can't believe Sable systems are unsecure. Maybe I'll send an anonymous tip. I think I'll stay clear of those guys. Okay, hacking app. Don't fail me now. Maybe I could turn on that side... Let's see. I can go under the gate on the left, or over the scaffolding to the right. There is literally no fucking reason for this to be a thing. Okay. Stay calm. I gotta just. Okay, my faithful listeners. I've been getting a lot of calls about this Sable International outfit. Damn, there's a lot of problems. Search for suspects in the city hall. I've got ten online. Ignore me. I'm invisible. <clears throat> okay. I'm in the clear. I mean, okay, good. 
That was intense. There was no reason for that to have been oh, a mission. Hey, Mom. Hi, honey. Did you make it to the feast shelter okay? Uh, yeah. Almost there. Miles. You don't have to work at that shelter, you know. You said I did. No, I gave you a choice. Yeah, and I chose this over more therapy. I mean, it was helpful. The guy said everyone grieves in their own way. This is mine. Okay. Sorry. Mom. Yeah? And just because I don't want to talk about it doesn't mean I don't love you. Oh, honey. I love you so much. We'll get you know, like, Okay? I, I gotta go. I'll call I you mean, on my way home. I mean, I guess killing off Miles' dad already gives him more gravitas than the comic book Miles. Like, this is still kind of like the ge same general Miles. He's still, like, super pure. And, like, you know, to, like, the point of ridiculousness. But, like, add in the fact that he's grieving for his dead dad. Like, give him his Uncle Ben moment. Like, a proper Uncle Ben moment, not the death of an uncle who is literally evil. Um, I mean, I mean, this does help Miles' character a bit. And, like, him being, like, a giant Spider-Man Spider nerd is pretty good, too. Like, it's an improvement. But then again, it's not really a high bar to clear as far as Miles as a character goes. He, that did not need to be a mission, though. Like, I could have just kept swinging to the fucking feast shelter. Like, what what really was the point of that, though? You know? Hey, Miles, Pete. Like, what was the point of that? Oh, no, no, I'm just glad you're here. They could have just skipped right to, like, Peter just here and Miles walking in. Why don't you start just by, uh... Getting comfortable with the place. Uh, meet a few people. You know what? Everybody loves coffee. Coffee? All right. And I'll be back in a little while to check on you. Is that cool? Yeah. Is oh, that guy okay? Don't worry about Mr. Hodges. He doesn't bite. Much. Shut the sure? fuck up, Pete. Shut the fuck up. <sighs> so, gotta go give coffee to the homeless. All right. Coffee? Thanks. Need help? Not unless you know what the hell a quark is. It's a subatomic particle. You know the building block. Of Why the fuck photons, does the does the fucking hydrons? New York Times have a crossword with a? Fits. Good one, kid. Why is quark a thing in a crossword puzzle? Oh, hell, damn hunk of junk. Uh, you mind if I take a look? Eh? Oh, we have a couple of CRTs at school. I know how to fix these CR, when they're... CR what? No, no, you just gotta smack it. Get the time. Get it. Go! Or, could be a loose coax cable. <sighs> all right, all right. Be my guest, huh, Mr. Smarty Pants? Hey, please, go ahead. Jesus Christ, Grandpa. Holy shit. Tributes continue to pour in for Officer Jefferson Davis. Oh. Oh. I want to unplug that fucking coax there, Miles. Last moments of life. Hey, new kid. I'm empty here. <laughs> Hero. Man didn't do nothing heroic except get himself blown up. Hey, Ernie. I see you've met Miles. He's going to be helping out around here. You may have heard of his father, Jefferson Davis. Pretty great that even though he's got a lot of stuff going on right now, he decided to come and volunteer. Don't you think? I don't think yeah, guilt... Yeah. Yeah. I don't think guilt trips work on old people, Pete. Uh, listen, kid, I'm... Oh, well, maybe they do. Who knows? Sorry about your dad. Come on, Miles. Let's see if Ant-Man needs a hand in the kitchen. Like, jumping on... Jumping in top of a bomb to save other people, hey. I'd say that's pretty damn heroic, my dude. Uh, Holy shit. Brought some help for you. Hi, Miles. Nice to see you. Well, grab an apron, wash your hands, and I'll show you around. Also, I'll show you where we keep the cyanide Here. we put in Ernie's food. Thanks for that back there. Of course. Oh, oh boy. Sable should be moving Dr. Michaels. Better get to the Bowery and locate him. Good, excellent. I get to fucking play the real video game now. Uh, let's see, suits. Let's see, what do we get? We got life support. I'm just gonna focus on to heal you when you're in low health. Eh, why would I want that? 
Restoration electromagnetic. Fucking no, that's fucking bad. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to this one. I don't know. I like this one. Like, it feels like this is just like a better version of this. Cause I mean, this is just like the regular spider armor, like the regular spider costume, yeah, the classic suit, but like made of metal and shiny. This looks like something sp special, you know? I don't know. Like the the prop, like it's not. Oh, what the fuck? People don't realize how many kids are homeless. One in thirty, and too many shelters aren't equipped to care for them. I warned him about the Illuminati. Oh no, it's oh no, that's really bad because the Illuminati actually exists in Marvel, and Reed Richards and Iron Man are part of it. Oh fuck. Oh Jesus, yeah, but um, yeah, like. I never really liked the spider armor because it, like the like the initial the original spider armor that was developed when Peter lost his uh, spider sense, so he needed it to deal with bullets. Right, that made sense. That makes sense. But like the other spider armor, like there's always been like an explanation for it, and like oh yeah no like like spider armor the spider armor Mark Mark Three was developed. When Peter was like, okay, I need to go against the Sinister Six and my regular gadgets aren't gonna cut it because it's literally six of my strongest villains all coming at me at once. That makes sense. Hey, Yuri. But I'm the Mark IV, sure like... Michaels gets to his new safe house. You know, safely. I wouldn't do that. Silver Sable made it clear you are not welcome. Yeah, well, what's she gonna do? Shoot me? Yes. 50-50 chance. Ah, fine. I'll be in the neighborhood, but not too close. Just in case. But yeah, like, a lot of the spider armors, I'm just like, well, why are you not just wearing the Iron Spider outfit, you know? Like, you know, it's just like, like, the Mark III predates the Iron Spider armor. And, like, Peter still has it, you know? It's called GR-27, not... <sighs> just be careful. In the wrong hands, this could... Don't worry, we're the best in the world. <sighs> I feel better already. Code 381, packages on the move. I mean, if I remember right, the yeah, like this, the Iron Spider armor is just like it's like Peter like really only saves it for emergencies because I mean, honestly, the Iron Spider armor is fucking broken. It's broken OP. So like the only reason they don't use it is because power balancing needs to happen in Spider-Man's books. But, like yeah, but he still makes the Mark IV armor. There's no reason to have it, you know. Best in the world, they say. Getting killed by Chinese guys in business suits, they are. Seriously, what's the point of all this, all these body armor, like, and, like, laser guns? When just, like, possessed Chinese people in fucking business suits are just kicking their asses. Like, yeah, they're magic Chinese people, but still. Hi, Martin. Come on. Welcome aboard, Doctor. Oh boy, you'd, you'd think, like, if he wants to, like, just take down Norman Osborn. Get off me! We got this! Yeah, sure you do. Like, he wouldn't. He wouldn't be grabbing something that will literally kill the entire fucking city, if not the world. I feel like Mr. Negative's maybe going a little bit overboard on this. Yuri, I'm in pursuit of Martin Lee. I think he's got Dr. Michaels and the Devil's Breath. Copy that. Four units coming your way. He took Michaels alive, so that's good. Probably so we can force him to make more Devil's Breath. I have to stop that truck. Tank. Oh, whatever. that was bad. Back. Come on. This is Sable International. We have a 
Oh, hi, Silver. I feel like maybe Silver, she's kind of... Hmm. I feel like maybe Silver doesn't realize that, that she's literally going to cause the end of humanity if she fucking keeps this shit up. Holy Christ. I mean, Silver's always kind of been a loose cannon, if I remember correctly, but that's... That's kind of ridiculous. Alright, just grab you. Web that. Just gonna blow up your own trucks, okay. Hey, stop shooting! Target Seriously, like <laughs> he is coming and he will destroy all sinners. Oh look, he came. Like this is reckless. E this is reckless, even for Silver Sable. Holy shit! He's like, he's like, she's like a big dick mercenary who like get you know get shit done, but usually it's not to the extent where she's fucking literally. What's your status? Have you apprehended Lee? Working on it. Like, where she's literally endangering all of humanity. I'll take this. Thank you. Hmm. Doing to me. Giving you a new perspective. Hmm. What the hell? I must be honest. I was hoping to bring you here. My abilities lend me a certain. Persuasiveness. So does everyone see this when I they get grabbed by Mr. Negative? I was waiting for you at City Hall. You never came. Where were you? Is this real or in my mind? Yes. It was a shame so many had to die with no heroes to save them. That officer saved your life, didn't he? He was here because of you. It's kind of fucked there, Martin. Jesus. In fact, I can just Norman jump around. A futile gesture. In the end. And where was Norman during all this? Slinking like a rat. He knew what was going to happen, and he fled. Norman is a hidden cancer on this city. He must be exiled. With no trace of his corruption to return. Then why are you giving Norman people actual cancer? Lies. I will break it apart and drag him into the light. Put on the mask. Become one of us. How about I don't? No thanks. One way or the other, you will join me. Oh. Hmm. Well, at the very least, Peter can go all out because this is the mindscape. The innocent victims you couldn't save. Martin, their blood is on your hands. You can stop Oswald. You have so much strength. I can give you will. Seriously, is is this really like? Their bodies filled the gutter, and you did nothing. I can't save everyone. What's one life? I mean, this is like fucking horrific, like from a, a city of soul. This is horrific from like a mindscape perspective, like like you know, like what's going on in Peter's head. But at the same time, this is all it is. Like if you just gotta not put on the mask and then just punch a bunch of people. I mean. I'm imagining these guys are just as just this strong because Peter's just this strong, but like I imagine Show me your true strength. 
Imagine normal people, like, they just gotta fight, like, you know, I, I imagine it scales. Because, I mean, these people are probably just this strong because Peter's got so much experience fighting, right? Which... Kneel before me! I will pull your mask off and expose you! The shadows are sworn to me, and I will give them strength! What?! Destroy the mask! I won't abandon you in the darkness, Martin! Alright, and up you go. You can. And up you go. You can come back to the light. Is Peter really? He's in the negative zone. He's in the negatives. He is in Martin's fucking home base and just be like, no. Because I'm Peter Parker and I'm so goddamn pure, I'm gonna drag you back in your own corruption area. Cause it's me, Spider-Man. Like, that's just kind of just... That's kind of just like a fucking... Like... Testament to how pure Spidey is, isn't it? I you welcome to my mind space, Spider Man. I'm here to corrupt you and turn you evil. How about instead I turn you good? No, like, fuck, Jesus, Pete. Hey, buddy, you okay? Are you okay? Did they take it? Yes, they did. Yes. How they got that open? I'll never. Oh wait, no, he was mind controlled. Right, fair enough. Very. You're a popular guy. And now Sable's gonna shout at me, right? Hi, Sable! How about a date? Where's the serum? I'm gone. That is Goya. Bless you. So called superhero. You think you save people, but you just make it worse. I'm fucking You're sorry? You're the one shooting missiles at it! You really need two of those? Stop! Damn! We need to brief Mr. Osborne now. Fucking damn, Sable! Alright! I'll go with her. Thank you. I'll remember this. Peter's just like, oh man, either that's a concussion or I'm in love. Holy shit! <laughs> 